Hey Aries and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for September 2016. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get a little bit adjusted. Um, it is late, it is quiet, and it would just seem to be a good time to go ahead and do the reading for Aries. So this is a no frills, no circus ad. It's just me, you guys, and the cards. I have already um, pulled the cards. So let's get started. Well, we have, oh, three card spread. Um, and we've got the past position or influences. We've got the present position. Uh, you know what is going on now and we have the future or the outcome card okay so in the past position we have the two of coins reversed I'm sorry and I it's hot here in Texas I'm all swollen up got some allergies oh we have had so much heat I know this isn't about me and now it's starting to rain so uh. okay so anyway two of coins reversed the two of coins reversed says that you may be at a crossroads about something that pertains to your financial security your material possessions your responsibilities the two of coins reverse which is under the uh, energy of jupiter and capricorn and, and and that's a contradiction in itself because jupiter likes to expand things jupiter is the planet of good luck and expansion it likes to soften the blow for us when we have things that are going on in our lives or it likes to increase things for us when we you know when something's being handed to us Jupiter wants to try to increase those things Jupiter will actually increase some things or expand some things that we don't want to be expanded sometimes like our waistline and uh, the two of coins represents the physical body so if I'm, I'm sorry uh, uh, not the two of coins itself but uh, coins can represent the physical body because the coins are the earth signs of the uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, and this, these are tangible things, and it can represent the physical body. So I see a couple things here with the two of coins reversed. One thing I see is that maybe you, there's some something going on that is causing some disruption with your financial security, with your material security something's going on with your money situation or your job situation you may have had a couple of opportunities that are no longer available to you uh, in the form of a work opportunity or a money opportunity maybe you made a wrong decision because you were at a crossroads and you went left when you should have gone right the other thing that this two of coins reverse can say is that you are for whatever reason right now unable to handle the responsibilities that you have you're unable to balance um, maybe your work life and your home life you are unable to keep those balls in the air because if he was upright you can see that he very successfully seems to be holding those balls up into the air very effortlessly but of course if he's reversed then those balls or those coins fall out of his hands so this is an indicator that maybe your juggling act right now is a little faulty you're unable to keep from dropping the ball some kind of way and this is causing you 
some problems with the Sun card here reversed. If this is regarding, because some of you Aries, for some of you Aries, there's, there's a physical issue. There's something going on with your health. And you may have sought out a second opinion about your health. You may have made some missteps and you got an opinion, you went to the doctor, but you just didn't really like the way that sounded and maybe you sought out a second opinion. Um, and, and now you're struggling. You're struggling with which way to go, whose advice to take. You are struggling with uh, what uh, new health regimens you need to go with. Like I said, for some of you areas, this is going to be about health. And for those of you that this is about health, and I'm sorry, I have something in my eye. At the present moment, because of your indecision, because of maybe your missteps, because you were at a crossroads about what to do about your health, it has caused the loss of vitality. You may not be feeling that great right now. You might be feeling tired and run down. You may be feeling, you, you just don't have that, you know, that get up and go, that mm that you had once before you need to make some different choices or or, or um, go ahead and and find a direction in which to go because right now your indecision more than anything is causing problems with your vitality with your with your strength now in the case of money in the case of job opportunities in the case of responsibility what this Sun reverse shows is that it is affecting your success it's affecting your ability to move forward successfully it's uh, affecting your accomplishments your advancements and whether this is health whether this is money, you're not your well-being is being affected as well. You're not feeling as good about things. You just, you, like I said, you don't have that fire up under you right now because there's some indecision going on around the things that you need to keep you moving. And, and we all know that, first of all, we need good health in order to, to physically move. And we need the material possessions, the money, in order to move through this life. That's just the way it is. Um, so, like I said, with this Jupiter and Capricorn energy, we, we've got this contradictory or we've got this tug of war, this back and forth that's going on with Jupiter trying to expand whatever it is. And if there's a physical, hmm, it's like a, if this is health, there may be some fluctuation. One minute, you know, your blood pressure is high. The next minute, it's low. One minute, you have serious inflammation. The next, you don't. Because, again, Jupiter is trying to expand. Capricorn, which is ruled by Saturn, wants to restrict. So, there's a tug of war going on here. with your health and if this is with the money or a job it's like you see a way to or you know a way to you visualize a way to get the things that you need to expand your resources to expand your money but 
the Capricorn energy is, is putting some restrictions on that. It's putting some obstacles in your ways. There's some boundaries, some setbacks. And and it is it's it's causing just that loss of you know, you're just not feeling like you once felt, either physically or mentally. You just don't have that strength right now that you once had. But we come to the Ten of Swords reversed. And the Ten of Swords reversed is telling us because when the Ten of Swords is upright, you know, this is, I call it, you know, just being stabbed in the back. It's exactly the way that it looks. But a lot of times it is your perception. Because if you look at the swords here, now he's bent over, he's got his head cradled in his hands, it's like, I can't take the freaking pain. But these swords never actually pierce him. They're just kind of right on top of him. He feels it. He, he, he feels the pressure. But he's not wounded. He just can't see past his mental challenges to realize that, that, that these swords are actually not piercing him. Well, in reverse, what it's saying, Aries, I believe, is as we come into the future, the outcome is that you actually, the worst of it's over. Whatever was going on with you, whether it was your physical body, whether it was your money, job situations, your inability to juggle work and family um, that was causing you to, you know, just have a loss of, of, of well-being or of your vitality, your immune system was low, whether it was a loss of your successes, there were some restrictions, some obstacles put in your way, and it just caused you to... Um, you know take a downturn well your outcome card in the future is saying Aries that the worst of it is over you seem to have found or you are a, you may not have found it already but what it's saying is that you are about to come into some solutions those crossroads those crossroads that you were at mentally about your money, about your health, that had you feeling so down, or that had you feeling so physically ill, so physically sick, the worst of it is over. You've actually, uh, you, you're, you're come, you're going to come into the answers that you need. For whatever reason, and whether or not this was self-inflicted or not, Aries, you had to go through the pain. Though you, you, for whatever reason, you had to to go through this in order to get to the point where you can reverse these swords and probably the next time we see these swords they would be in the upright position I, i'm sorry no they wouldn't be in the upright position because that would mean that you were uh, uh you've been stabbed in the back uh, they're reversed and and at th this time that's good because that means like i said before that you have actually come or you're coming into the answers you're coming into uh a solution you're going to be able to make the right choice choices in order to get your vitality back in order to get your health back in order these, these ten of swords like I said shows that the worst is over and a lot of this anxiety or whatever it is that you had behind your money or behind your health that had you so down or that's got you so down right now Aries really is a matter of mental perception for the both it's really a matter of mental perception because you are not actually being wounded you feel the pressure but you're not actually being wounded but the good news is like i said you the worst of it's over you you know you see the light at the end of the tunnel you've been thinking you are probably not at that crossroads anymore or you're not going to be as we step here into the future and um Things shall really, really improve once you get to these answers. Once you, once you get this pressure off you, once you get the knives out of your back, um, I want to say too. While I'm 
It's a lot of it's a lot of fire, a lot of ego here. With the sun, there is a lot of ego and pride here. So it's making me think more than anything, Aries. Like I said, for some of you Aries, it's going to be a health issue. But for a lot of you Aries, it looks like some wounded pride. It looks like your ego has taken a hit. And it may have something to do with money problems. Or it may have something to do with, um, I see a business partner. I see conflict with a business partner. Yeah. Aries, for those of you, like I said, um, in work, there's conflict with a co-worker or a business partner that has put a damper on your success, on your ability to move forward, and it, 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 your ego, your pride, your self-worth and everything right now is taking a hit behind this imbalance with the with another person, with the co-worker, with the business partner. I don't necessarily see this as being, um, I see this as somebody who's equal to you. Not an authority, this is somebody who's equal to you. But nonetheless, like I said, it, 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 it's really caused you to take a hit. But, and if your business partner or your co-worker stabbed you in the back, it's not as bad as you thought. The worst of it is over. You see things for what they are. You are able to uh, think around that now and get some solutions and get some answers in order to get things back the way that they need to be, Aries. So, let's see what we have here number-wise. We've got um, we've got two. We've got nineteen. Which is twenty-one, and we've got ten, which is thirty-one, which is four. So again, obstacles restrictions setbacks with the number four you were limited you felt boxed in unable to make a move unable to make uh, unable to make an educated decision about something Unable to take an authoritative stance. Unable to make an executive decision. Yeah, I see a lot of you, Aries. This is a and if I'm not mistaken, Aries, last month there were some issues in the workplace. So this may be a continuation of that. And like I said, for some of you, this is going to be health. But for the lot of you, this is going to be around your financial security. And... I feel like because of an imbalance, some disharmony, um, a crossroads between you and an equal, that caused you some problems, some setbacks, some limits, you know, some reversals even of your success, of your money. With, with, with this 
whatever was going on here with you and this other person caused your livelihood to suffer. It's causing your livelihood to suffer right now here in the present. The good news is, like I said, you're coming to the point where the worst of it is about to be over. I know I've repeated myself. Oh, I'm so sorry, Aries. But the worst of it is about to be over, like I said, and you you get to the solutions in order to, you know, get your game back up. You may even realize that it never was as bad as it felt to you. You, you were just so... You were just so entangled, engrossed, embedded in this situation that you, you couldn't see that you were actually not being wounded or that this other person just really doesn't have the mental power, the mental capacity to make those swords uh, pierce through. So you get all, you you get past it, Aries. You get the clarity. You pull the knives off of your back because they're not in your back. You pull them off. And um, while I don't know exactly where this is going to lead you uh, with with these three cards, what I do see is the fact that you do come out of this situation you do gain the mental clarity to come out of this situation so that's that you aries because i feel like i've really repeated myself over and over again and i hate to do that but i hope you guys get the idea so uh, i hope to see you guys again next month it was great talking to you as always and i will see you soon bye bye aries